it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I had done a while back a blowout with just a ton of colors and no regard to where they went on the canvas. It was just for fun and I had someone request a similar piece but she wanted a little bit of magenta and purple to be predominant in it. So I'm just gonna throw paint on a canvas tonight, see what happens, hope for the best, hope it's what she wants. Let's paint. Hi everyone! I am going full color explosion on this one. The green's the only thing that scared me, but she requested it, the green and the orange. So I think I'm just not gonna use as much and I'm gonna lay those down first on either side. That's all I had there. Then I'll come in, I think, with the yellow over here. So I just kind of got right into this one. So this is a commission piece. She saw a blowout that I did a while back and um, I blew all the colors out and then I had white in the middle and I blew it out. Now I'm going to try this time to layer a little bit of the purple, magenta, and white together and blow it out and see if I can get a really pretty fanned out effect that way. Okay, so here's the green, just a tiny little bit. But maybe it'll look like a flower garden with this green in there. Okay, that's all on the green. Now I'll come in with the red. This should make a little bit more orange when it mixes with the yellows. And the rest of this is just going to be purple. And magenta and blue. <laughs> So some people asked the last time they saw this, they said, how do you not get a bunch of mud? And I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I don't pass the blow dryer over it multiple times. It's like if you loaded up a paintbrush and you brushed one time, you would get beautiful streaks of color. But if you brushed back and forth, you would mix those colors and it would turn to whatever you're mixing. So a brown normally if you had like a rainbow of colors. So it's just something to think about when you are actually doing your painting. If you're blowing with a blow dryer or even if you're swiping over something, you swipe multiple times and you're really mixing the colors instead of letting them glide over one another. All right, let me get a little bit more blue. This is a, she didn't ask for it, but it's a little bit of a blue green that I'm gonna put in there. It's kind of on that green spectrum, right? Okay, and then the majority will be this purple. Is this gonna turn out, guys? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I ask you that every time, right? Like, is this going to work? I don't know. Now I'm going to come in with this magenta. And I definitely think I have enough now. I'm going to save this last little bit of magenta to go with the white. I knew I, I know I said I was going to do some purple, but I used all of that. All right, let me pop these air bubbles. Ooh, look at that air bubble. See? Ooh, popped. Oh, and I forgot to say the magenta I made out of a Soho Rose Mater because she wanted it deep and a primary magenta. So the two colors together I think are really pretty. All right, let me blow this out. Oh man, oh, that is gorgeous. I almost don't, oh. 
I'm just going to drizzle just a tiny bit of white through here. I almost don't want to do it now because this is really pretty. I hope I didn't ruin this. I'm going to come back over with the rest of the magenta now. Whoa! <laughs> We're just right, you know, right there. Just magenta only right there. Okay, we blow this out. The only part, oh, I don't know what to do now. I don't know if I should add that white back in. I wish she was here with me so that I could just ask her if this looks okay. <laughs> the only part that um, I wanna fiddle with just a little bit is like right in here. I feel like it needs just a tiny little bit. of that yellow to balance it out right there. And then maybe just a little bit more magenta through there. So I kind of just like it like this, honestly. Wow, this is actually pretty stunning. Now, when I torched this, because I used mostly Amsterdam paints, there weren't a ton of, and I didn't use a metallic, there's not a ton of cells that are popping up. That green has some, but that green actually, that green was left over. I think it had, I think it had um, a different green in it as well. But I am going to, on a torch. Oh, yes. I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with it. It's already got such beautiful lines. I'm not going to take it and ruin it with some curly cues. I, I think I'm done. I'm going to torch one more little time right through here. Yep, there come those cells. Two for one, got the air bubbles out of there too. This is so pretty. 
what do you guys think? And I'm glad that I painted the edges too because some of it didn't get fully blown. Like right here, I can just touch it and drag it down. Side. But I'll do that off camera. You guys don't need all that. Okay. Let me show you the results. I think it's beautiful. Color explosion. I cannot be happier. And look at all the little cells that popped up. No mud. Just funky and fun. I cannot wait to send her this picture. I love it. It looks like it's got motion to it. Love it. All right, I'll show you how it dries. I mean, talk about a color explosion. I really, how much fun was this? And I've already showed it to the person that purchased the commission and she loves it. She said it's the exact splash of color that she needs in her life. And no, there's no specific composition, but I love how the yellow kind of trails through the entire painting, kind of moves your eye from one side to the next. And that's really all, all I was looking for. The colors dried much darker, but I actually like it that they dried darker. That dark pink, oh, I'm really happy with this. I'm so glad I did this one again. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.